Dogs have been our loyal companions for thousands of years, and it's no surprise that our canine friends have become ingrained in our everyday language and idioms. In this video, we'll unpack the origins and meanings behind 23 famous sayings about dogs. From as sick as a dog to the dog's danglies, we'll dive deep into these canine-inspired expressions and how they've stood the test of time. So, let's go on a linguistic journey and discover what these iconic dog-related phrases really mean. By the end, you'll be barking up the right tree when it comes to understanding these timeless sayings. As sick as a dog. This saying dates back to the wedding 700s, when dogs did not enjoy the pampered lives they do today. Sadly, many dogs were chronically ill, and it was a common sight to see sick dogs wandering the streets. So, if you look as sick as a dog, you're certainly not feeling your best. The origins of this phrase reflect a time when our four-legged friends didn't have the luxury of modern veterinary care and high-quality pet food. It's a stark reminder of how far we've come in caring for our canine companions. In the doghouse. There are a few theories about where this phrase comes from, but it generally means you're in trouble or out of favor. Some believe it originates from the practice of banishing a dog to an outdoor kennel when it has done something wrong. Others connect it to the days of slave trading, where dog houses were built on slave ships to accommodate the crew. Being in the doghouse was an uncomfortable situation, and this expression has endured as a way to describe falling out of someone's good graces. Dog's Breakfast this phrase refers to the messy meals that dogs used to eat before commercial pet food was widely available. Canine meals were often a complete hodgepodge of leftovers from the family table. A dog's breakfast is therefore something that looks like a total mess or a situation that has gone awry. The origins of this saying likely date back to a time when dogs were not as pampered as they are today, relying on whatever scraps their human companions could provide. Dog Days of Summer The link between this saying and our four-legged friends is actually quite tenuous. It originates from ancient Rome, when hot summer days were called dies caniculares, which translates to dog days. The Romans believed that the dog star, Sirius, radiated heat to the earth during these scorching summer months. So, the dog days were named after the celestial canine that was thought to be responsible for the intense heat. While the connection to our furry friends may seem a bit stretched, this phrase has endured as a way to describe the sweltering days of summer. Let sleeping dogs lie. This phrase means you should leave things alone, especially a situation that is currently stable and peaceful. It's been in use since the 13th century and even appeared in Chaucer's epic poem, Troilus and Chryside, where it was written as, it is not good a slepping hound to wake. If you've ever lived with an active and excitable dog, you'll understand the wisdom behind this saying. Waking a sleeping pooch is a surefire way to stir up trouble, which is why it's best to let those sleeping dogs lie. Raining Cats and Dogs This common saying has a rather tragic origin, as it likely refers to the poor drainage in 19th century city streets that led to cats and dogs drowning during heavy rainfall. Another theory suggests that the phrase stems from the days when these animals would sleep in the eaves of houses and get washed out by downpours. Whatever the exact origin, raining cats and dogs has become a vivid way to describe when it's pouring heavily outside, evoking the image of our furry friends being swept away by the deluge. The Dog's Danglies This is a mainly British slang term used to describe something that is particularly good or desirable. There are various theories about its origins, including connections to other similar phrases like the cat's whiskers and the bee's knees. Some even relate it to cockney rhyming slang or a corruption of the term bog standard, meaning average. While the exact etymology may be up for debate, this colorful expression has become a way to enthusiastically praise something as being the absolute best. Working like a dog. Dogs have not always been just beloved pets. Our ancestors expected them to work hard in various roles. If someone is working like a dog, it means they are putting in an enormous amount of effort, often for little pay or recognition. This phrase reflects a time when canines were expected to toil without the comforts of modern domestication. Today, we still utilize working dogs in the military, police, search and rescue, and to support people with disabilities. 
but at least now, they know they'll be rewarded with a decent meal rather than just scraps. Dog in the manger. This phrase describes someone who prevents others from enjoying something they don't want themselves. It dates back to Aesop's fables from the 2500s, where a snarling dog guards a manger full of fodder that it doesn't even want to eat, simply to deny its use to the horses. The image of a selfish, possessive dog guarding a resource it has no use for has endured as a way to call out those who hoard things for no good reason. We've explored just a handful of the many famous sayings that feature our canine companions, each with its own unique history and meaning. These expressions have become deeply woven into our everyday language and culture, reflecting the special bond we've shared with dogs for millennia. Next time you use one of these iconic dog-themed phrases, take a moment to appreciate the rich tapestry of language and the enduring influence of our four-legged friends. Thank you for joining me on this linguistic journey. Be sure to subscribe for more engaging videos that celebrate the amazing world of animals.